It might actually be one of the scariest things to happen while riding the metro. The car comes to an abrupt stop and the lights suddenly shut off. It was um, complete chaos. Monica Weinstein experienced that scene during a power outage on all four lines at the peak of Wednesday's rush hour. I am claustrophobic, so yeah, I wasn't feeling well at all. Yeah, exactly. On top of that, she and thousands of stranded commuters had to deal with sweltering heat underground for nearly an hour. You get anxious because you don't really know uh, how long you have to stay, or so that's uh, and yeah, very this is stressful. One witness sent us this video of passengers being forced to walk through dark tunnels to get to the Vendôme platform on the Orange Line. The STM is no stranger to metro disruptions, but this time computer problems on the transit system did not cause the trouble. We understand the frustration of the of the, the client, but yesterday it was really out of our control. It was raging forest fires like these ones in northern Quebec that were to blame. Hydro-Quebec says the extreme heat and smoke set off an automatic protection mechanism on their transmission lines near James Bay. Protection relays in our customers' installations operate to protect their systems, their electric systems, and that's what triggered essentially the, the interruption of service by the Metro Montreal. Then it takes a while to bring back a service uh, uh, with you know, uh, customers. The STM wasn't the only major hydro client affected. At La Ronde, rides suddenly shut off, forcing officials to evacuate the amusement park. A spokesperson told us over the phone that no one was injured. Thankfully, everyone was able to climb down from their ride safely. Back at the STM, officials say it's been a long time since they had to deal with this kind of problem. During the, the crise du verglas, it was also electricity supply problem. So uh, we, we faced that problem before. And they may again. Hydro-Quebec can't guarantee the power will stay on. With raging wildfires continuing up north, they say a similar power outage could happen again, depending on how violent the fires get. Right now, they're working with forest fire control to find a solution so that more people aren't left in the dark. Alia Adam, Global News, Montreal.